for the mistake. Uh, obviously, we got we got some smiles at the table here because uh, we just had a, a really, really good afternoon against a very well coached and very skilled team. I always had a lot of respect for Cindy and for our kids to come out in and continue to be relentless and, and do what we do night after night and uh, finding ways. I just can't be you know any more excited as we keep this journey on. Coach, you limited a team who loves to play inside the paint to 16 points today inside there. What what was going right there? Man, I tell you, Sid and, and uh, Ajene and, and Sandra and Kelly, those were my four rotations. Um, you know, it was a point of emphasis. and uh, But then for them to listen to the scout, you know, again, Denise King did a great job with the scout. And for them to just to listen, take heed, and really, I mean, Sandra three-quarter denying and just, it's just, it's just really nice to see people's attentiveness and, and somebody's got to put some points in, and two really good guards that you know put some points up for him. But to do that, and then to minimize, uh, you know, Sierra and uh, Chelsea three and thirty-two, uh, it was just a really good overall team team effort. Coach, uh, the ball movement continues to be a huge part of the team's success. Nineteen assists today, ten for Darius. How important is that uh, that ball movement going to be going forward? Oh, I mean, it's great because these guys are seeing it. You know, we can only talk about it in the huddle. We were saying, you know, earlier you penetrated, you could see the other side, and then when that ball was going inside, you know, they were finding folks on the opposite side and finding Kelly and Crystal in transition. I don't even sometimes see how fast she makes that pass to, I don't know how Kelly catches it sometimes, um, you know, to knock it down. But, you know, that, that it, they are just a group that cares about winning more. And I've been saying for 10 years and I've been here as a coach, that I just I wanted to coach a team uh, that represents the years of my past, you know, uh, of just having people that when I came into the old days, and this, it's, I don't talk about myself, we, we laugh all the time about, I'm not the kind of coach that brings up a lot, but just that cares about winning more. Like I came into a school at NC State, that that was a culture that was already established, I didn't. You know, these guys are piggybacking off of a culture that, okay, but now they really get about, it's more important, they care about winning more, and everything else takes care of the, of the rest. And you have a group that's doing that, and, and they've done it. You know, you can say it. I've been trying to say it for a long time. You know, take all the superficial stuff out of the way, any immature crap, you know, being on with a team, you know, there's always things. But care about winning more when you're on that floor, and then they do really care about each other very well, and it shows up when they're playing. And they're generally happy, you know, when Liz comes in, knocks a shot, or, you know, Kayla Minot comes in, or Sandra's doing well, she makes a basket. Everybody's just generally happy because they know as good as everybody gets on the bench, as good as we're going to be able to accomplish our goals. Kelly, 24 points. What was working today? Um, <laughs> it's always work. Just work yeah, differently I, sometimes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was just playing. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. anything different. I think that I just had a lot of more confidence when I saw the ball go in because I've been struggling uh, the past couple games. And um, I just think that my teammates keep giving me the ball, and that shows that they have confidence in me. So it allows me to get confidence in myself. So. And, and I always de defend that part. I, I did, like I said, one of the first couple of games of Crystal. It's like, dude, they just figure out a way to score how they need to score. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, and do what the team needs when the team needs it. And I think that's, you know, that's that's their strength, you know. And, um, and, and you know, and, that, and that's it. I mean, you know, that's why you got to play on both ends of the floor. And that's why you have to have, you know, deep bench like Asia coming off or Jaquel giving us good hits because – we know that we could do everything right, and sometimes that ball doesn't go in. So if you have that depth and you have folks that can help us inside and out, you know, we can we can accomplish what we need to accomplish. Kelly and Crystal, Coach touched on it before. Talk about the connection that the two of you have built mm -hmm. together over the last three years. Um, I think it's just automatic. Like, when she's driving, I know she's going to do a little thing back <laughs> to me. So I'm always ready to catch it. And... Um, she kind of gives me a little like look, like when she's driving, and I know like she's gonna pass over, or she's gonna look away and pass it. So, I mean, I just feed it off, fed off of what she's been doing on the floor. So, I mean, it's just, I think it's just really easy playing with someone like you. You've been playing with three years, because mm -hmm. um, you just know every movement. I mean, me as a point guard, I just know everything that, mostly everything that she's gonna do. I know where she wanna go. I know where's like her best shot. And I just keep telling her every time, like, just shoot the ball because you're going to make it. At some point, you're going to make it. And once you make it, you're just going to keep making it. So I just think it's really easy because the chemistry is there. I mean, it's supposed to be there after playing with, <laughs> with her for three years. If it's not there, it's, we have a problem. <laughs> but it's just it's just really easy with the chemistry. Coach, Alyssa Monahan came out red hot for St. Joe's in the first half. What are 12 points? What adjustments did you make to kind of quiet her down. I mean, here's the deal, right? We have to cover 
Pure Veroni, 34, 41, 33, 3, 32. <laughs> you know, the kids that have been really carrying them along the way. And, you know, I, I can't say Crystal didn't do a good job from the start. You know, it was like we played her the way we needed to play her, and she had the hot hand. So we had to, to make some adjustments on her and then kind of go over the top of the screen and switch when we need to. And then she made some big shots. But, you know, you'll, you'll take that, right? If you try to take away the gut of somebody and then, some, you know, they're a good team, they're going to figure out a way to score. You know, and and, uh, and they did, you know, her and uh, also Fitzpatrick. But, you know, we did enough what we needed to do, you know, to win the ball game. Coach, UMass on Wednesday, how are you guys uh, prepping for that? Yeah, a chance to see them because they played uh, a couple of the same teams I've been watching. So uh, they played, obviously, um, uh, Buffalo. So Buffalo had beat them. doesn't mean anything, right, because that's early. You can't do the comparison or, or the eye test like that. If you're playing at UMass, they're big. They penetrate. Um, so you know, uh, again, you know, in, in a tough, you know, a tough, uh, you know, tough league. They, they. Uh, so I mean, I, I'm excited. I'm excited to go up there and get a chance. At, we haven't played there. I don't know about the history of the program, but I know since I've been here, we've never played at UMass. So just a great, another one on our schedule, and then it's important because it's our next game, and we'll be ready. We'll absolutely be ready, and you know, and, and let's go. Thank you. Yeah.